Hi, this is Gary from Cheetah Transformation, and this is a Smartsheet Overview of Document Builder. Okay, so in this video I'm going to take you through the functionality of Document Builder within Smartsheet. Um, so the first thing you need to understand is where do you find Document Builder, and if you just right click here, you can see it down here, Generate Documents, that's Document Builder. But there are a few steps that you need to complete before you can start down this, this road of creating documents within Smartsheet. The first thing you need to do is obviously set up a template. Um, so what we're going to do is just switch to Word quickly. And here you go, here's a template I've just drawn up for this demonstration. It just shows you the invoice date, invoice number, and there's obviously an area, and then item descriptions, quantities, and totals. Um, you can obviously do this in, in Word, or you can do it in Excel, or, or um, Google Sheets, whatever you want to do. But ultimately, you uh, just need to create a template uh, that you want to be um, filled in. The next stage that you need to do is obviously you need to save this as a PDF document. Um, so just go into your Word and then just save as PDF. So export. This one already exists. I'm just going to replace that. And we just save that. Okay, so the next step is obviously to create a fillable PDF. Um, and how you do that is there's a couple of ways to do that. Um, personally, I'm going to show you how to do that on Adobe Acrobat DC. Um, but there are obviously other um, ways of doing that. So if you just complete a Google search on how to create a, a fillable PDF uh, for free or whatever, then you'll be given a number of different options. But like I said, in this video, I'm going to take you through how to complete that within Acrobat. Okay, so we're in Ac Acrobat Pro DC here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a uh, the PDF that I wanted, which is here. Um, and then what I do is um, you want to look for prepare form option. If it's not here, and I just added it here, it'll be in this more tool section uh, in here, and you can sort of say to add or remove or whatever. So it's already here, so I'm going to say prepare form. Um, does this document requ require signatures? It doesn't at this stage, so we're just going to say start. Now, the great thing about um, using Acrobat Pro is that it automatically recognizes the fields that you want completed and obviously then assigns a relevant area to it. Um, so just go through and check to make sure they're all okay. Um, there's a couple down here that I don't want populated. So for example, this one here, I don't want that. So I'm just going to delete that. And the same here, I haven't got a grand total for that. So I'm just going to do that. Um, and then I'm going to save it. And then I'm just going to save it in that location and call this uh, fillable. So I know it's a different form and then just save. Okay, so that's the uh, the second step. The third step is now to move into Smartsheet. Okay, so into the third step, back in Smartsheet now. And as you can see here, I've created a sheet with all the relevant information that will populate my template that I need. Now, obviously, I've created a form for this. Um, so manage forms, you can see I have, a, I have a form here that I've created, which will complete all that information in the sheet that I need. Um, and I've populated it just for this demonstration, just with random stuff here. Um, I've put in, obviously, rather than like project A, B, C, D, whatever, item A, B, C, D, just so you can actually see when I create documents that it's actually working in coordination with the individual rows that I've created here. So the next step you need to do is obviously then set up um, a workflow effectively within Document Builder. So go to Generate Documents. and say create a document mapping. We're just going to cover the PDF version in here. We're not going to cover the DocuSign. I'll do that in a separate video. So just do this one here, say next. Uh, drag and copy, uh, drag or upload a copy of your PDF here. So I'm just going to click on here and go to my downloads and then choose the fillable PDF. And there we have it. So this is the document we have, this is a fillable PDF. And now all I need to do is just drag and drop the relevant area, uh, the relevant um, column headings into that are in Smartsheet into the fillable PDF. So, for example, invoice date. I'm going to put up there an invoice date, invoice number. Um, looking for client. A bit tricky. Just put client in there and client PO. And obviously, I'm just going to fast forward through this now so you don't have to wait for me to map all these individual ones. Uh, 
Okay, so um, there you go. I've just uh, created that, um, and I've mapped all the relevant fields. So all we're going to do now is say save, and we can see here now that the mapping for tutor invoice to the fillable template is here and ready. So all we need to do now is just go back to Smartsheet, and if I just choose one row, for example, top one, generate documents, and then click on here and say generate and say attach to row so there's two options one you can download it or two attach to the row and actually I'm going to attach to the row because if I attach it to the row then I can download it from there if I need to so it covers both bases this just gives you a summary of what's happening it tells you to return to sheet because it's been completed and if you can see there's an attachment here if I click on that and then open this here you can see that all that information has been populated into this area here. So I've got a bit of an alignment thing here which I would need to sort out, but the quantities, the total costs, and the values are here. So if I come back out of that now, and obviously I think the limit is you can do a hundred documents at any one time. So if you have a you know if you have a couple of hundred rows in here, you can do a hundred at a time. Um, but if I just want to do this for the remaining four um, invoices, again, highlight the four rows, right click, generate documents. This is my mapping that I've got, and I say generate, and again, I want to attach to the rows. And I get a status update down here. Return to sheet. And you can see now there's an attachment for each of the ones here. So if I go into Client C, for example, and look at this mapping here, you can see Client C here, Project C, Reference C. And if I go to this one here, E, and view the document, and again, there you go, Client E, Project E, Client E, with everything updated, all the values. So there you have it. That's Document Builder within Smartsheet. Thanks for watching. And for further details on our free and paid Smartsheet training courses, please visit the training and events section on our website at www.cheetahtransformation.co.uk. Alternatively, contact us directly on help at cheetahtransformation.co.uk to arrange a call to discuss your requirements further.